Given the uh, way the study is designed, we uh, do not allow for direct statistical comparisons uh, between any of the experimental arms. They're only intended to be compared to the uh, control arm. So in essence, uh, the modular nature of the study and the platform nature of the study is that it's a series of randomized phase two trials, uh, an experimental arm and a control arm nested within this larger framework of the study. And this, uh, this does give us though some opportunity to do back of the envelope calculations and kind of look at how different arms performed. Uh, but we do have to be careful in doing so knowing that uh, patients are enrolling to the study across different time points uh, of, the, of the trial. Uh, so uh, if you look at the, one of the first experimental arms in the study that read out at uh, the uh, uh, ASCO annual meeting in 2019, uh, that was an arm that incorporated voliparib as a, a PARP inhibitor uh, as a, a potential mechanism of overcoming radiation resistance. Uh, and in that uh, arm that was previously presented uh, and is uh, currently under review for publication, uh, the mean NAR score was 12.6 uh, for the control arm and 13.7 for the voliparib arm. So no difference in the NAR score, similar to what we saw with pembrolizumab. Um, the NAR scores do look a little different between those two, but you have to take into consideration that the, uh, that the NAR score in the Pembro arm, the NAR score in the Voliparib arm, uh, you can't really compare them head to head because the control arm groups were also uh, different uh, across them. I think the one takeaway that we can uh, that we can make from from this is that we're now amassing a larger uh, uh, data set that gives us more confidence in what we should be expecting out of total neoadjuvant therapy for patients with rectal cancer. Uh, we have a, a mean and AR score with voliparib of 12.6. We have a mean and AR score. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. We have a mean NAR score in the control group during voliparib treatment of 12.6. We have a mean and AR score in the control group during treatment with pembrolizumab of 14.08. Uh, so we're, we're, that's a really tight range that we're, that we're honing in on there for what we should expect uh, total neoadjuvant therapy to be able to do. Um, so we're, uh, we're continuing to analyze this data and we're continuing to uh, not try to draw too many comparisons across the, uh, across the experimental arms, uh, especially since they're completely different agents in different classes.